Hi there, today I'm going to be unboxing a cable management kit. So details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So I purchased this particular kit to tidy up the cables near my console gaming setup and my desk setup. Now I'm just behind my console gaming setup here just to give you an idea of the mess we've got at the moment. So a load of cables and really messy as you can see. So I really wanted to have this nice and tidy and a bit more organized. And next to that, if I show my desk setup, obviously I've got plugs and wires dangling at the moment, desks up there. And the idea is I'll make use of the trunking for just at the back along the top there so I can just compact all the cables into a small area. So looking at the packaging itself, it says what's in there. So nine open slot wiring duct with lid, 12 times screws with drywall anchors and 12 connectors. So let's open it up and take a closer look at what you get. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. You've got a user manual here, just details how to set this up. On the other side, just asking you to leave a review if you've liked the product. Next, you've got a small piece of double-sided tape not sure why they've given this. It's such a small piece, it's a bit ridiculous really. Next, you've got a bag with some screws and some raw plugs. Then you've got the corner pieces and the connector pieces. Corner ones, just to show. And the idea being, if I take the bit of trunking, if you look, there's a slot there. It just sort of slots into place. If I let go, you can just see like that. Now, the actual trunking itself, it's 39 centimeters long and you get nine strips of that. So the idea being you can stick the back on if you wanted to, or you can use the fixtures to attach it directly onto a surface. I'm gonna be using the sticky pads. I think that's a good idea and a good way of doing it to avoid making holes. Next thing is if I open, it's quite good. So you've got little slots in there. The cable can sit in there and it's flexible as well. So you can just push your cables in and out of there quite easily. So I did like the design of this. Obviously you've got the options of putting them in any position and then obviously pushing them out dependent on the thickness of the cable. So if I bring my ruler in, just to give you an idea, the diameter of one of these openings. So looking at it, we're saying about 0.8 of a centimeter. So any larger than that, I guess what you could do is just snap this off or just cut in between just to get a larger cable through that. Okay, in terms of sticky pads, it doesn't say it's 3M or anything, but you just peel this off and there you go, it reveals the sticky side. I would have preferred if it was 3M, obviously you know it's gonna be good quality and it's gonna stick really well, but let's see what it's like. Now in terms of other parts of this, so if I take another bit of the conduit, Okay, so these connector pieces, what you can do with that, just sits straight over the plastic here and just comes in. It has got a clip on there, but looking by the size of it, if you see, it's not really convenient to push it on there. You can sort of bend it, but looking at it, it's not that easy if you look, it sort of comes like this. So not too impressed with this. It should have been slightly bigger, really. Let's look at some of the others in case they're a slightly different size. No, it looks like they're all, all similar sizes on there. So that's how it would be. So you could just take that off. And obviously it's a tidier way of joining two of these strips together, just to show. And there you go. That's what it would look like connecting two strips and looking at the back like so. Okay, next let's show the corner piece. So this is quite nice having this really because the idea being you could have your cables coming down from the bottom and obviously trailing across on there. And again, easy to take off. Another one is here. So if you wanted it to, to curve inwards, for example, there you go. So it looks really cool. And again, you could get it on a corner like so. And being plastic, it's quite easy to cut. You can get a hacksaw to cut that. You've got an inner corner as well. If you wanted to come out like so, it would look like this. So pretty pleased so far with what I'm seeing. Looks pretty easy to set up and the fact it's nice it comes with these little corner pieces and the joints in there as well. So I'm at the back of the console area and this is what I'm thinking to do. I've got some cables coming down from the TV. I'll take some of the conduit and place it like so. 
and then what I'll do is around this region just place two strips going in either direction and what I'll do I'll cut this one so it's in line with that I'm not going to put any of those junctions or joining points because there's nothing like a T and what I found is I could just have it going across like so so if I take this out for a moment and we could have it going across like so and the bottom bit hitting just down there it would look like this and the same on the other side, we'll have some plastic going there. And obviously there'll be a gap there so the cables can run either side in there. Now I've kept tidied up some of the cables in this area and I've moved out what I didn't want. I've replaced some with shorter cables, but obviously it'd be nice just to get it in some conduit just going across. Now in terms of height, I put one strip there, but I think it'd be better to have it slightly lower so there's a bit of a bend going in. You don't see things going straight into there just slightly lower and distance wise I'm thinking if I hold a strip like so just one strip down okay so for the first strip if I put this in position and this is around the center anyway so the way I'm looking now thinking just below that one and just like so. Let's get the first strip stuck down. You just peel off the back here. It'll look like that. I'll hold one in position so I can get the sizing correct on here. I won't push it up against there close yet. I know the distance from this one will be here. Obviously it's easier if you didn't have a camera in the way. Um, so hopefully in your situation, if you do use this conduit, you can just get in there quite easily and there you go first strip's gone on now that's in position I know how much to put in on the other side it's just after this bit if I come in so on this side here for the next one we peel off the plastic on there there you go and we'll do the same thing again where we hold this strip in position and we'll just place it right underneath it and there you go it's on now and we have two bits going across next what I'm going to do I'm going to mark with a pencil just here and just over here and with a hacksaw we're just going to cut this what we'll have we can push these across then halfway and they can cover up the area and the cables can go straight down there now with the wires moved out of the way, the way I'm going to cut this is slightly different. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut straight down here. So if I mark one end, we mark the other end, join it up in a moment, and then we're going to cut this bit off at the back. So I'll mark that with a pencil just to show if I come round here to there, so we'll just cut off this bit and then that bit. So what will happen is the area behind here will drop off and that will be complete down and look a bit more tidier. So let me get my hacksaw, let's get that chopped off. Now we're gonna to attempt to cut this conduit. So first of all, here where the glue is with the sticky part, we'll just cut into that just to make it easier to cut this. So I've got a knife here doing it with that first. But initially, let's cut that bit off. There you go, that bit's done. Now we just need to cut the line here. So I'll move the bits along so we don't cut into this, so it goes straight through hopefully. And there you go. It's a nice clean cut there. I could just pull off the little bits and now we're ready to stick this on. Conduit's here, if I pull the sticky bit off at the back, and what we wanna do is just get it sticking a little bit on there and on there as well. And there you go, nice and tidy. And as you can see, it's not too bad, just about lines up with it. And if you need to adjust it slightly, you can just pull it down if you wanted to. And in terms of cables, pull this down, push that in. There's the first bit in. And what you can do next, just 
put these bits of cable in. And then you can just move them around to how you want them. So let me work out how I'm gonna have this tidied up and I can show you the next bit, how it looks. So I've placed extra conduit as you can see there. I've used a connector just over here. I've put a little bit of extra conduit there and there's gonna be another connector there. Just to give you an idea, I just pack the cables into there and try to make it as tidy as I can and put the covers back on. Very simple. Try to show this with a camera in hand. So obviously make sure you've got a reasonable amount going into the conduit. And then once you can close it, you can literally just push it back on or slide it in, whatever's easier. There you go, so that's gone on. So there you go. So just need to put the connector back on there and the other bit of conduit. So for this, it's just a matter of pushing it into position. There you go, that's on now. And I just need to slide it in on the other end now. And there you go. Just to show at a distance, it has tidied up considerably now. And then we just plug in the plugs now and show what it looks like. So there we have it, the cable management's now in place on the back of the console setup. And what I did, I put a longer piece going down so I could have all the power cables coming to the central point and nice and tidy. So as you can see, it has made a considerable difference. Not as much bundles of cables just sitting there. So quite pleased with how that's turned out. Now onto the desk. So what I'm thinking, I've got four long strips and I've got a couple of short ones. So what I'm thinking, I'll leave a small gap here, small gap there in case I move the desk left or right, and I'll put this with a gap in between so I can push cables in. And if they're thick ones, obviously I don't have to worry about getting it to fit through there. And it's just easier to do. You don't need to hide as much with that. Now at the back, my PowerPoint is just over here and that can run, if I can show, just down here. So I can have the cable coming into the side and popping straight down. And my ethernet's coming from the other side and I'll put another strip coming around here perhaps. Let me see, maybe best just to put it as close to the edge as possible. So that's what I plan to do next. So let me start sticking those bits on. Now I've just put the conduit on one side of the desk and I've used a corner bit here so I can have the cables coming down and turning here and obviously going underneath the desk. I'll show now underneath the desk, that's where it will come in and that's where it's currently looking like. Now I've attached a power strip and the way I've done this with two screws, as the worktop is quite thick, I just screw it, two screws straight into it and they can clip onto the back. And there you go, in position now. And looking at the conduit coming round, you can just see nicely in position. So now I can plug in my other items and use the conduit to keep the cables nice and tidy. So as you can see, we've now got the conduit stuck down this side and just over there. If I come in close, just to show, there you go. The cable nicely goes into the power source there. Coming around the other end, you can just see I've got my power strip attached. And there you go, the conduit. So the way this will work, when I get my monitors in place, I can just feed them straight into that and any other devices I can just plug underneath. So there you go, it's actually worked out quite well. I'm quite pleased with the conduit itself. Would have been nice if it had a T-junction as well as the existing junctions you get in there. Build quality wise, it seems reasonably good. And as you can see, it's tidied up things quite well. The cables you can see going into Netgear switch, I've actually custom made each one on here just so it's the exact length for each of the items plugged in. So first of all, obviously my TV there, gonna have my PlayStation over here, Xbox there, and PS3. And then we've got the Orbi just underneath there. 
So you've got two cables going towards my desk setup and then one plugged in to the ethernet point just at the end to provide the ethernet connectivity directly from my router. So I've used up most of the conduit and I had a little bit left so I thought I'd use some of it just to hold some of the power cable in place. You can see it's another one there, another one there. So I've just chopped it up into three but it's not really that strong like that. So I had some mini trunking and I placed that in position so you can see it just there coming in there and it channels all the way around. So the next thing I'm doing now is I've got some Velcro straps and I'm just tidying up some of the cables. So if you look on the back of the TV, I've just tied them up like so. And I'll just put another one around that area there. Just taking the Velcro strap, grabbing my cables and just tightly wrap it around. It just holds it in place. So just to show again, so I've used it there and coming around here, I've used it on this cable. So I've got two ethernet cables coming around here. So one going into my PC here and I wanted to put another one at the other end of the desk, just there. So if I need to plug in a laptop or anything like that, I'll have another one available. So quite useful to have an extra one. Now, the other thing I've done, I've got these pieces of Velcro with stickiness on the other side. And what I've done, I've actually stuck on bits and pieces. So we've got our Netgear switch here and that's been stuck on. I didn't really want to make any holes. I didn't want to damage the unit itself. And it gives a bit more flexibility. It can easily come off as well. And I've got these power strips just to show. But there you go, you can just literally just pull it off. So quite good. It works out well. You get two pieces. And let me show how to put this on because I want to use that on the desk where the power strip is underneath because I've used the screws to attach it, but just to show, can easily come away. So just to give that extra bit of firmness, I'll use the Velcro straps there as well. Now I've pulled off the power strip just to show how to do this. So two parts to it, one's softer, one's a bit more firmer and obviously putting them together provides the stickiness on there. So if I line them up, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a small chunk out. I don't need to cover the whole bit. Obviously, the holes are going into screw points. So I'll perhaps just go that much, for instance. So taking it from there, I can just get my scissors. It's just a, an approximate, really. And there you go. And then I can just peel off the strips on either side. And I can stick one on obviously on the power strip and the other end would be stuck straight above. So now let me peel one end off. I'll put it approximately in the middle just to show stuck on well. Let's try installing this in position now. So I'm just underneath the desk. If I peel this off, now it's gonna be quite tricky obviously. I wanna get the holes in position and I wanna stick it as well. So if I just get one, like so. Okay, that's in, I can feel it in. And now, if I get the other one in, it's in. And if I now just pull this. Oh, maybe I'll just pull it off and just try it. Try my luck with it. And there you go. That's it, it's better. Now it doesn't easily come out. And now I can just plug in the power points there. So this is for the computer and I'll have my Govi light plugged in right next to it. Okay, so I've completed tidying up the cables. One bit I've left is this one here, the connectivity between the console and the desk. I might buy some conduit later on, just stick it to the wall. But coming around the back here, 
you can see I've got two power strips. The one on the left is for the console setup. The one on the right is for the clock, the Echo Show, and the two plugs next to it. One's for the Netgear switch I've got, and the other one's for my Netgear Orbi, just to provide fast internet connectivity here. Cables wise up here, tidied up quite well. I did leave a bundle there so far, and I might just push the subwoofer back just to mask some of that. You can see some of the cables here as well, all tidied up quite nice. And the height of the power strip, just to note, I've placed it high enough. I actually had it low initially, and so it came just above the skirting board here for because this plug here for the Netgear Orbi is really deep, if you look at it, and that was nudging on and stopping me from pushing it back further. Now coming back and looking at the setup here, obviously there's one plug plugged in, and that's for the desk setup here. So if I now turn that on, you see the lights come on on that, and the power for that's all plugged in. So it worked out really well, and it was quite nice using the Velcro uh, sticky pads. So that worked out quite nice, and the power strip underneath was moving quite a bit. Every time I tried plugging something in, it occasionally would pop off. So quite good to do that. I might stick some of the Govi Dream Color to the desk later on, but for now, I think it's fine hanging off. It's not really causing any problems in any way. So here we have the finished setup, as you can see. No cables on the desk, wireless keyboard and mouse, wireless headset as well. Coming around the back, got some cable ties on the monitor. And coming around here, around the computer, I've got some there as well. As I've already mentioned previously, there's a plug, and this plug powers the whole desk setup. Looking underneath, very nice and tidy. On the console setup, gained loads of space at the back as you can see, and literally sits close, tight up against the wall here. And obviously, two power points. One for the console setup, one for internet related access, ethernet port going to my router and aerial point for terrestrial TV on here. Some cables for the subwoofer there. And there you go. So really pleased with the setup. I put links in the description below for all the items I've used in case it helps anyone out there. So there you go. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.